In this video, I will demonstrate the cross-site scripting techniques required to exploit the first three exercises in the Web for Pentester Lab. Each exercise implements slightly better defenses against a cross-site scripting attack. Each exercise uses a simple web app that returns the name entered as a URL parameter into the body of the HTML page. In exercise 1, there are no defenses against a cross-site scripting attack. I am able to easily use a simple piece of JavaScript to show the page is vulnerable to cross-site scripting. When the page is rendered, the JavaScript runs and the alert box is displayed. In exercise 2, if we try the same attack as exercise 1, we do not get the same result. The application has some filtering to remove the script tags from the input. To test the effectiveness of the filtering, we can try to change the case of the script tags. In this case, we see that the filtering was restricted to only lowercase letters, and by changing the tag to include an uppercase letter, we have worked around the filtering. In exercise 3, there is more significant filtering happening on the URL, and when we try the previous two versions of the script, neither will work. The filtering is stripping out the script tag from the URL and is able to handle different cases. To exploit this, we can try and take advantage of the routine that strips out the tags. In this case, we insert a second script tag into the middle of another script tag. Hopefully, the filtering is not recursive and the system will then return the URL parameter with the original script tags intact.